Polaris benefits Nicaragua uh, in several respects. One of them has to do with the cost of energy, which improves uh, li uh, people's living standards as well as business. Uh, uh, the cost of energy in Nicaragua at the present is about 14 cents, and at peak times it gets to be 22 cents per kilowatt hour. Polaris has the possibility, and any other geothermal project has the possibility to produce between 8 to 9 cents per kilowatt hour. So you see a major difference in the cost of the matrix of energy that uh, Polaris could change by um, generating with geothermal. Our vision on social responsibility is to support in different aspects the community of San Jacinto Tisate where our project is located. Polaris is developing the project in phases. For the past years, Polaris has focused on three main areas, such as employment, environment, and education. During the construction of our first 10 megawatts, we provided between three to 500 employments. For our next planned construction expansion to 34 megawatts, there will be approximately 600 direct and indirect job openings. Polaris has been strongly involved with the education of the children of our community. We have been working with Sara Maria Parrales' school, helping them in different areas, such as providing maintenance for their computers, school painting, teachers' uniforms, library books, and sports equipment. We want our kids to be involved in sports during school time and after hours. Every year, the kids look forward to participating in the school's parade celebrating Nicaragua's Independence Day during the month of September. Polaris shares this excitement with the kids by making sure their musical instruments are ready for that special day. The project has started a reforestation program in various areas throughout the plant in which junior and senior year students from our school community have the opportunity to participate. One of Polaris's objectives as a renewable energy producer focus on geothermal generation is to educate and bring consciousness to the community. We feel the best way to accomplish our objective is by beginning with our community students, the future of Nicaragua. To make this happen, we work very close with the Environmental Ministry, Fire and Health Department. I'm very proud to say that our San Jacinto Geothermal Project was the first one in Nicaragua to be registered by the UNFCC. And we made our first sale of 100,000 tons a month later. Is that, um, so that the, uh, Our greatest challenge has not been the technical aspects of this project as one might expect. Our front-end costs are, are high relative to other projects because of the drilling we have to do. But once that's completed, the physical plant is relatively simple and the operation is relatively simple for long periods of time. Uh, the government's, uh, new government's uh, policies that, as they affect us have really been our biggest challenge. We uh, found that when they came into power early in 2007, we were confronted with a situation where the government wanted to look at transactions that had taken place in privatization by the previous governments, by the previous regimes. So they looked at a number of different transactions, not just ours, and they said, well, we're going to pass a resolution that we, if we so desire, have the right to look at these. Immediately, that impacted us. We had uh, investors, and more uh, particularly, we had lenders who said, well, until this is resolved, we are not going to be able to move ahead. So we had to go to the government, we sat down with them, we explained what was happening, and it did not take them very long before they uh, reached uh, an agreement with us to uh, clarify in our contracts and addendums to our contracts that the titles to our concessions were in totally good condition and that we had no impediments to move forward. From that point onwards, the government has strongly supported our project. They've passed laws and given us incentives and they've made it known in all of the media publicly that they are behind this project and they will do anything required to make it happen. When we first came to the government, the first thing we asked us was what's going on what the problem with Polaris is. Because Polaris had the few years and we expect from them much more than what we found. And when we start talking to them, then Polaris clarify a lot of things and 
And uh, the President Ortega understood perfectly that probably the support that the former government should give Polaris never gave it to them. So President Ortega decides to give uh, Polaris the opportunity to do what they know to, how to do it. It's the geothermal development. Yeah, Nicaragua has the largest potential of uh, geothermal energy in, in, in Latin America after Mexico. We are a poor country. We have only 50% of electricity in all our people in the country. And uh, geothermal energy as a renewable resource, natural resource, is very, very important to us because that will be, on this kind of project, will be the only way possible to decrease the cost of the kilowatt hour and that will permit the country to develop itself.